Hey everyone, how's it going? Fred here. We are going to do this video on logarithmic and exponential functions. Okay, so we're still hovering around the kind of the grade 10, 11, mostly 11 to 12 range. This is probably at this point something you should be getting into. And we're going to do four questions for you. Really simple. One is uh, true or false. Sorry, two of them are true or false. Two of them are where we just have to evaluate. Okay. So, and the reason why I chose these is I want to show you just a few rules of log, okay? So, the first question is, okay, if y equals 3 to the power of x, then x equals log base 3y. Okay, so, um, well, I'm not going to kind of bore you with the explanation of what log is or what it means or anything like that. You can just Google that if you want. There's tons of, you know, explanations. But you, I, what you kind of want to see, I'm, I'm assuming if you're on our channel, is that you want to see us solve a couple of problems that have little kind of like tricky things in them that uh, you can apply to your, your tests, okay? So if you ever get an, like exponential functions like this can be tricky to solve because you have the x in the exponent, okay? And this is where log comes into handy is you can take that exponential here, the x in the exponential, and you can bring it down into the equation into something that you can solve more easily, all right? And that's kind of how log and ln are usually used within, uh, with it, within you know, calculus and that kind of thing. It's kind of like a tool in order to make uh, exponential functions easier to solve. So, and if you'll take a look at this one here, we have y equals three to the x. Okay, we can always rewrite that, all right? If you have a constant like this, a or whatever we can call it, in this case it's three to the power of x, Okay, we can always rewrite that is as, and we'll just make the whole thing equal to x now. This is just something that you can memorize. Okay, x is equal to, and then log, okay, log a, which is 3, times y, or log a argument of y, okay? You can always rewrite uh, y equals a constant to the x like this, okay, and make it a little bit easier for you to solve. Okay, so this is true. Perfect, let's look at b. You can write log 25 to the power of 4 as 4 log 25, okay? Another property of logs, okay, is if you have log to a power like this for 4, you can take this uh, power and move it down to the front of the function, okay? So that's, that's where log functions really come in handy. So if you can log both sides of the equation, take the exponent and move it down, okay? You can really start to simplify questions, okay? So yeah, we can write that as 4 log 25. So that is also true. Okay, cool. So we've done the first two true or false. They were both true. Let's move on to question two. And we're asked to evaluate log base seven, uh, seven. Okay. So another trick, okay, that I wanted to show you, which is why I selected this one, okay, is if you have log to this base seven times seven, okay, or log to any base times the same number as the base, okay, that's gonna always gonna be equal to one. Okay, so if you have log four, base four, four, okay, so log, 7, 7 is equal to 1. Same thing if you have log 4, 4, that's going to be equal to 1, okay? And in the long answer questions, okay, like this, like you can't do log base 7 in your calculator, okay? It just doesn't, that, that function doesn't really exist. Um, or the, you're, you're not able to do that usually in, in most calculators, okay? So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to play around with the number here if it's not the same, okay? If they ask you to evaluate it in order to, for this to cancel out into one. And that's what we'll see in the next, uh, in the next problem, okay? So log seven, seven is equal to one. That's the answer there. All right, so let's go to the last one, a little bit trickier. Okay, so we're gonna apply some of the rules that we learned in this question here. Okay, so like I said, so we have log uh, base five times 25 squared, all right? So like I said, in this case, we, you know, we can't just plug this into our calculator, right? So we need to kind of uh, modify it a little bit in order to make it easier to deal with. Okay, so let's use this rule that we learned here. We can take the power and we can move it down. Let's start with that. So let's take this two. Let's move it down to the front. Okay, so we have two log base five, 25, right? So, and like I said before, what we're trying to accomplish here, okay, is we're trying to have uh, the base, so log base five, and we're trying to have the argument of the log as the same number. Okay, and how do we do that with 25? Well, we can rewrite 25 as five squared, right? The square root of 25 is five. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we have two log base five, okay? And we have five squared, right? So five times five. And well, we can take this, what do we have here? We have a power that we can move to the front, okay? And so that's gonna be two times two, okay? 
And well, what do we have here? Okay, well we have uh, log base five times five, right? So that's gonna be equal to one, so we can cancel that out. And two times two is equal to four. Cool, so I hope that helped. I know logs uh, can be a little bit tricky, but you know, learn the, uh, learn the kind of the properties of lawns and logs, and it'll go a long way with helping you, especially in university. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.